Okay, why is this area right over here? The most important part of hat stretching. Right over there. See that? That part of the seam there? Okay. In the edge of a leather sweatband. If you notice, right in the edge. Let's find the different one. Um, here's another leather sweatband. Okay. An old porcelain one. If you look in the edge, there's always a little, little tube right here, like a little wire. Right on the end part of every sweatband. Here's a vintage hat. Jerry Donahue's hat. Look at that. See that tube? It's shiny right there. Okay, that's covering the reed. Inside of there is like a wire. Most of the time, it's a very thick nylon fishing line inside there. And then right at the seam in the back, that's where it meets each other. Okay, so it's a ring of wire fishing line that meets right there. So in other words, it's two ends. They're not, they're not tied. Okay, so right in that spot, in that little tube, you've got this nylon fishing line. So what happens every time you stretch your hat, you can stretch it a size bigger, two size bigger, three sizes bigger, doesn't matter, 10 sizes bigger. What happens to that nylon fishing line? It goes 10 sizes bigger temporarily and then it shrinks back to its original size and shape. This same oval shape. You notice if you go like this, it pops right back. Always that same oval. That is the purpose of this. If this loses its shape, it turns into a square, it always pops back into that oval, okay? Same thing with the size. You try to stretch it, it will come back. Doesn't matter how many hat jacks you use, how long you keep it in there. Keep the hat jack in there for a week. As soon as you pull it out, that wire, that nylon uh, fishing line is gonna just shrink back. That's its purpose. Believe me, I know because I am stretching hats like five days a week since 1994. Um, like decades of it. And I know all the mechanics of it. I know exactly how it works. Everybody thinks they know how to stretch a hat, but nobody does. Um, it's all up to that read. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you have to ask yourself, do I really want to stretch this hat? Uh, generally, for me, what I'll do is I'll just pull out the entire leather sweatbands, which does kind of mess up the hat in a way, but in a way it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't have a sweatband anymore, but the outside of the hat still looks perfect. Okay, when you use a hat jack or a hat stretcher, a steel one, and you stretch it enough for it to actually make any difference, the hat will be so distorted, there'll be a big stair step in the back like that. Basically, the hat jacks only stretch here. Okay, so you'll stretch it out to there. The crown will go like this, basically. So then you have to get rid of that stretch mark, blend it. It's like near impossible for you guys. You just don't have the right equipment, the hot enough steam. You don't have the steel form to, you know, to stretch it on. It's not, it's not gonna work. You guys just can't get a good stretch unless you're doing a very small, small, small stretch. If your hat is just like borderline, okay, this will work. Cut the reed and give it a stretch. If we're talking a big deal, like a whole size or something, two sizes, one whole size, just pull the leather sweatband now, that's what I do. I mean, it's not great on the inside, but on the outside, you guys never know, my hat always looks perfect, always. This hat has been perfect for like 15 years on the outside. There are no stretch marks, there's nothing. And the hat fits me perfectly. If I were to stretch this hat, it would make it look older. It would take something out of it. So I don't like doing it, but uh, if you need to stretch it very little, you can consider this. You have to take a razor blade, cut it right here, okay? Expose the reed, 
you'll see that nylon, okay? When you see the nylon fishing line, what you gotta do is clip it with a wire cutter, a needle nose, what do you call it, like a clipper, or just a pair of scissors, or just use an X-Acto knife or a razor blade and you can do it. Um, it's, it's not impossible. Uh, see if I could do it for you while holding the camera. No, that's impossible. Let me see if I get a tripod and maybe I can do it. And then once the reed is clipped, then you could start stretching. You could start doing stuff like, pull it like that. You can pull it up your knee lengthwise. That will work. You could do that every day. You could use your hat jack. But without cutting that reed, nothing's gonna work. All right, let me give you some tips on uh, using your hat jack now. First of all, when you apply the hat jack, you know there's gonna be a big stretch mark. You're basically stretching out that much and not up here, okay? So you wanna get the top part, okay? The part that's gonna, the top part of the hat jack that's gonna leave a, a stretch mark. You wanna line that up with this line, the top of the band. So in other words, if the whole band is coming out, people won't see that. But if there's a crease here, and then the hat is like coming out there, and then coming in there, they'll notice that. But if you put that stretch mark right on this line, it hides it. Now here's the trick. When you're stretching, you're gonna apply heat to the back only, behind your head, back there, okay? What that does is when you stretch, the stretch goes where the heat goes. It won't stretch in the front where everybody looks at you. It only stretch back there. So if you're gonna have any kind of stair step or, or stretching, you know, that looks like a stretch, it'll be in the back where people don't see it, okay? So what I'm saying is, okay, line this up. So the top of the hat jack is right at this ribbon. You feel through the hat. You feel through it, there it is, okay? It's right there. Okay, good, you push the hat up, down. Once you get it lined up, then start cranking a little bit, okay? What you're gonna do now is apply steam to the back of the hat, right where that back seam was, where the reed was. You wanna hit that from the outside of the hat, through the hat, onto the back seam. That way you're only stretching the back of the hat, not the front. You're controlling where the stretch goes. You steam it, you heat it up, then you crank. You feel it kind of stop and give you resistance. Heat it up again. When you heat it up again, you'll, you'll even hear it creaking. It'll go, you'll hear it stretch. And then you'll feel the resistance go away. You'll be able to stretch more. You heat it again, a little more. Bam. You don't want to overheat. You don't want to like just burn the thing where the leather might get damaged, but heat back here. Make sure it's nice and hot, then crank it open a little. Heat it, crank it, let it dry. But you cannot take the hat jack out until it's completely cool and dry. You don't have to leave it overnight. That's not gonna do anything. If you leave it in an hour, that might be good. Basically, the hat has to be completely 100% dry before you take this out. Otherwise, it'll come back a little, okay? Pull it out, that's dry. All right, if you see a little stretch mark, let's say you have something happening here where you got a little stair step. What you can do from the inside is rub it from inside with your fingers and steam in the back, okay? Here's another thing, another trick. Heat up the whole back, okay? Put your hand inside like a pancake and do something like this, like inside the hat. So what you're doing is you're getting this area flat against the tabletop. You heat it all. Remember, this part is coming out from the stretch. Heat that all with the steam and put it on the back of the table and do something like this. On the tabletop, like bam, bam, bam. That's what I'm doing inside the hat. Thus, I'm getting a flat edge. So the hat jack kind of push the back out. So what I want to do is heat up the whole back and get the whole back sort of blended together. 
So you're taking that stretch mark from the hat jack and you're getting rid of it. You need it. Do this patchy, patchy, patchy thing. Slap it, slap it up, flip it thing. Great move. It's one of my moves I do in the front here to get this part nice and flat. I use two fingers in the front there, kind of like this. Heat it up. Okay, so if you don't have a steel form to make sides round like my steel hat stretcher, this is a way to fake it, okay? You make the edges flat, 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 flat. So you're getting rid of all the wrinkles, creases, anomalies, but and you're doing it one at a time. Make it flat. You're saying, well, everything's round. It doesn't matter. Think of it as sides that are flat like that. You just do it one at a time and the hat will just be smooth, okay? You're making the, the surface of the, of the felt flat, which is what you want to do. You want to get rid of anything that's wavy. And that's it. Um, very useful stuff. Using a hat jack is, is pretty tough, um, but there are a lot of tricks. And uh, that's about it. Keep your hats away from radiators. Um, sunny dashboards, things like that, that will also make your leather shrink. And that's it, guys. Happy hatting. <laughs> and now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night. <laughs>